if you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Hello and welcome to Spirit Guides Thursday Thoughts. This is the place where you will get to hear snippets of conversations I've had with people over the years and get a variety of thoughts for you to consider for today. Enjoy! And today we are going to talk about how to choose positivity in a healthy way. And and why do I say in a healthy way? (laughs) So this is the fun thing about positivity is that positivity can be very toxic. And, you know, we're always taught, oh, you know, think positively, talk positively, don't allow negative thoughts to enter your brain, blah, 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 blah. And it's a yes and no on that one. Okay, positivity can also be massive spiritual bypass. Okay, so let's talk about it. If you are choosing positivity in a healthy way, What you're doing is you are choosing to be optimistic, not pie in the sky, Pollyanna, but optimistic, that you are choosing to believe good things about people when you have a choice of what to believe and you don't know if uh, you, you don't know what the answer is. So, you know, somebody cuts you off in traffic instead of saying they're a horrible person and they hate me and they didn't see me and they don't care about me. Ah, Okay. That's negativity, right? Uh, If they cut you off in traffic, you can go, oh, wow, they're in a hurry or they're unconscious or, you know, maybe their kids in the hospital or they're late for work again and they're going to get fired or, you know, any number of things that have nothing to do with you. And even if they flip you off, right? (laughs) You know, oh, and they're stressed out too. Look at that. So so it's having a bad day. All right. We'll just wave and let them go. Right. So, you know, those are, those are choices, right? That's, that's choosing to believe something positive, that there's a good reason for something to be happening rather than choosing something negative. Now, now (laughs) I say that, but you know, that's a stranger on the highway that you'll never see again. If you have someone near you who is pulling bullshit, like, you know, being obnoxious to your face and being mean to you and whatever, that is not something I want you to be super excess, you know, super understanding about. No, no, no. They don't get to be mean to you. Set your boundaries. Right. But, and again, this is, this comes back to Pollyanna, right? It's like, if you're like, oh, well, you know, they didn't mean to do it. It's like, "Mm, no, they did. Okay. If somebody did something, they meant to do it. They may regret it later, but they meant to do it in the moment because that's what they did, right? So, you know, you definitely need to keep that in mind as as we're going through this process, right? So positivity in a healthy way is choosing optimism. It's choosing the best story and yet still keeping it realistic, right? It is not ignoring the things that make you miserable. It is not pretending that negativity doesn't exist. That is toxic positivity and it is spiritual bypass. Okay. So it is not saying, oh, I feel like crap. I'm going to pretend I don't. No, that is not what that is. Okay. Pretending that you don't feel like crap when you do is just denying your own feelings and treating yourself like you don't matter. And you don't want to do that. Okay. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be all those things, but you need to not attach yourself to them. These emotions are supposed to be fleeting. They're supposed to move through you, feel them, you know, wait in them, whatever you need to do, but let them go. Right. So if you're finding that emotion doesn't go away when you're having it, then, then you need to shut it down and do some work on what your belief structures are around it until you can be in that emotion and have it go away. Okay. But positivity I find is one of the most misunderstood things in in the spiritual world, because so many people are, are doing the fake it till you make it thing. 
right? And, and that's often around positivity. It's like, I'm going to be positive all the time. I'm going to be an inspiration to myself and others. I'm going to be somebody I'm not, is what you're saying in that moment. And that's not really what's meant by that intent of fake it till you make it. The, and, and I don't like the way it's phrased. It was phrased that way because it's easy to remember, but it, it gives people a lot of misconceptions about what that desire is, what that intent is when you're doing that. And it's not about faking it. It's about stepping into the energy of it being true. And so it's, it's different than faking it. Faking it, you go, oh yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm just pretending to do this, right? I'm just, I'm acting as if, right? But inside my inner bullshit meter is going, e, 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 bullshit, 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 right? You don't want to do that. The, the way to do this is to say, okay, if I am feeling positive, how do I feel? And to step into that emotion, into that energy, into that, right? If I am grateful, right? And this is the best way to change your energy, by the way, is to go into gratitude. And you don't have to be grateful about everything. I mean, you know, some people have not a lot to be grateful for. However, you do have to be grateful that you're alive, right? Well, you don't have to be, but it's an option. So you can be grateful that you're alive. You can be grateful that you're healthy. You can be grateful that you have running water. So many places on this planet don't. You can be grateful that you have electricity. You can be grateful that you have a roof over your head. You can be grateful that you have clean air to breathe. You can be grateful that you have food in your belly. You can be grateful that you have friends. You can be grateful about any number of thousands of things in your life. And the more you engage in gratitude for what you have, the more your positivity engenders more positivity because you like attracts like, right? And so positive energy is brought about by positive energy, right? Gratitude, things to be grateful for are drawn in by being grateful for things that you have. And so this is a healthy form of positivity. It's about being with what is in a positive way. And if you're not happy about something, that's okay. Nothing says you have to be happy about everything. You know, I'm currently not in shape and I need to be uh, because I'm going to be moving to a country that doesn't have a lot of handrails and stuff like that. And I am, am I happy about having to go out and work out so that I can, you know, start to build up the energy to be able to do this? I'm not terribly happy about it. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing it, but when I'm out, I'm looking at the world and I'm, I'm soaking in the sun and I'm appreciating walking with my husband and I'm appreciating walking with my dog and, and appreciating that we have a neighborhood to walk in and that the weather is nice or, you know, whatever it is I'm doing, I'm being positive about it while I'm in it. And when I'm in resistance to it, I'm not thinking about it. I'm like, okay. I'm, I, I, I don't want to do this. I'm not going to think about it. It's not an option not to do it. I'm just going to do it. So I'm not going to invest in this resistance that I'm experiencing, right? So that's the difference, right? It's, it's just a slight turn. It's a slight turn that you have to go through in order to be positive. So hopefully that makes sense. And that's, that's what I've got for you this time. So make sure you like and subscribe and rate and please share these episodes with your friends. Uh, this is how you tell me that you like them because otherwise I feel like I'm talking into a void. Please make some comments on them because again, I feel like I'm talking into the void. <laughs> so if you don't respond back, I don't necessarily know that you came in and listened. You know, I can see how many views I have, but 
and how many downloads, but there's no way for me to know how many people are actually listening. So I don't know if it's one person downloading 300 episodes or if it's, you know, 300 people downloading one episode. I have no idea. They don't tell me that. So the more people can reach out and tell me what they think and ask questions, the more I have a sense that, that there are other people on the other end of things listening. So thank you so much for listening and watching and, and participating. And if you have any questions, by all means, send them in. You can send them to Kelly at kellysparta.com. And I do get all of the questions and I will respond to them in time. And uh, I just, I'm, I so appreciate you guys. Thanks for being here. Have a good one. And that's it for this week's Thursday Thoughts. Join us tomorrow for the Ascend Day on the Spirit Guides podcast. So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides Podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode. Oh,